Hey guys, it's Connor here, and in this video of Hightail, I'm gonna give you the best settings for an FPS boost and your performance for your computer. So there's some settings that you might wanna change whether you have a strong computer or if you have a weaker computer. First off, let's go to our settings tab in the main screen of the game. In the general tab over here, I immediately set my field of view up to 100 because I like to see more of the screen. But if your computer is too weak, leave it at the lower value because the more of this you have, the more of the game your screen will have to render, which might slow your computer down. I generally put this at 100 to avoid motion sickness issues because I get motion sickness from playing games sometimes. So if that's something you struggle with, maybe that's something you should change too. Alternatively, you can also go to the gameplay tab over here. And if we scroll down here to the camera section, you can also turn off the view bobbing effect so that your you know camera doesn't like bob as you're moving. And also the camera shake effect you can turn off if you suffer from motion sickness. Now, moving on to the meat of the video, we're gonna go to the video tab over here. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do in the video tab is turn your game to full screen on. For some reason, this defaulted to off in my case, and it played in windowed mode and I, I hated it, it looked horrible. Quite simply, you just have to press at the arrow here. It's gonna look weird like this unlimited FPS one, the way it looks like you can't change it, but if you hit the arrow, it will take effect and it will turn on. It's also a good idea to set your maximum FPS to what your monitor is capable of. The monitor I'm playing on is capable of doing 240 hertz. That is the refresh rate, and that is what you're gonna select as well for your FPS. Most monitors have about 60 or 70 refresh rates. In the rendering tab over here, you can set your graphics preset. By default, the game starts off in medium. This, at this point, if you have a good computer, you're probably gonna wanna set it to high or epic. And if you don't have a good computer and you're still lagging, even if it's on medium, look at the view distance option over here, because this is like your chunks that load, like how it would in Minecraft. If you lower this down, this will give you a ton of performance immediately. And there are a few more settings lower down here in advanced rendering that you can lower that will help you as well. So you don't have to sacrifice all your view distance. You don't want to change the render scale at all. By the way, leave this at 100, otherwise your game's going to look garbage. For the world detail, you'll see mine is set to maximum, but this one does come at a severe cost to performance. So like the view distance, you can set this to like a high, a medium, or a low, depending on how your computer is at. You can try lowering this one stage at a time to see if your game plays better. The next things you should look at are the shadow quality, as well as the shading quality. These ones, you might wanna set to medium instead of high to buy yourself some more FPS through the game. And these will be the main settings here that you should lower to get yourself a lot more performance out of the game. This can allow you to get your game to look exactly the way you want it, as high quality as you can manage with your computer. So I hope you managed to figure this out and you get exactly what you want. Let me know in the comments down below if you want any more specific guides. And also YouTube thinks you might like this video next. So check it out and thanks for watching.